One of the benefits of prophetic ministry is found in the fact that it helps us to make sense of the current and future seasons that we will one day find ourselves in and how it is that we are to respond. And I'd like to tell you right now that the time is now. And what I mean by that, guys, is it's time for the temple of the Lord to be rebuilt individually and corporately. Individually, we are the temple of the Lord, but there's something that happens in the spirit when believers gather together, according to Ephesians 2. It says we're fit together into a dwelling of the Lord. There's something that happens in unity that the Holy Spirit is attracted to. And I believe God is asking us to evaluate where we are in light of where we've been. I'm going to say that again. God is asking Asking us to evaluate where we are in light of where we've been. Here's what I mean by that. When you have those in exile that were in, in Babylon, when they returned back to Jerusalem, this is in the days of the prophet Haggai, and you can check this out for yourself in that little tiny book in the Old Testament between the two Z's of Zephaniah and Zechariah. I promise you it's there. It's only two chapters long, but it's there in the latter part of the Old Testament. You have these guys return from exile back to Jerusalem, and the temple is in ruins and the glory of God is gone. The glory that at one point in time filled that house has left. And you have Haggai who is troubled. You have God who is troubled that puts these words into Haggai's mouth. And he brings this charge to the people. And he says, who among you was around to see the glory of this temple, the latter glory of this temple, the glory, you know, back in the day when Solomon had dedicated it. And how does it appear to you now? In other words, he, there was an agitation brought to the people. He was asked, he was essentially saying, who cares right now about the condition of the temple? And I believe the Lord is looking right now for people that care about the condition of the church. Because this day and time where, where Haggai finds himself mirrors, I believe, exactly where it is that we are today. I think in a lot of ways we would all agree that the glory of today pales in comparison with the glory that the early church experienced. When the Holy Spirit was poured out in Acts chapter 2, when God was daily adding to their number, when signs and wonders were the norm, when a feeling of all was upon them when they dedicated themselves to the apostles teaching fellowship breaking of bread and the prayer there was so much that was taking place when the glory of God was poured out that we don't see happening as much today in the quality or in the quantity that I believe we would all like to see it so Haggai brings this charge come on to the people and God puts these words into his mouth that I believe he's putting in the mouth of his prophets today and it's these three words consider your ways why because our ways affect the level of glory we enjoy. Guys, our ways affect the level of glory we enjoy in our corporate lives and in our individual lives. Corporately, when we gather together and individually, the level, or I should say the degree, the baptism in the Spirit we experience, I believe, has a lot to do with our surrender, our submission, and how it is that we live. So when these, these in exile, when these Israelites in exile come back to Jerusalem, they're not interested in rebuilding the house of the Lord, the only thing that they care about is their own homes. The only thing that they care about are their own lives. And I believe a selfish Christianity will always leave the house in ruins. I believe the pursuit of sin, the pursuit of the flesh, the pursuit of all these different things that I believe corrupt and defile the temple need to be repented of. And God is wanting us to consider whether or not such things exist right now, even in our own lives. What if how we are living and what we are giving ourselves to individually is affecting what we are experiencing corporately. I believe, guys, that it's time for us to consider our ways to evaluate where we are in light of where we've been, to look at the current level of glory we are enjoying in comparison to the glory of the early church. And it's okay if we allow that to agitate us. That's what God is wanting to do right now. He's wanting to stir us up because it says in Haggai uh, chapter 1 that the spirit of the people were stirred up because of what it is that Haggai was saying. You had both Joshua, the high priest, Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah and the remnant of the people. Their spirits were stirred up. They were agitated because of the charge that Haggai brought. And I believe God is doing the same thing today. I believe you're going to see a whole new level of consecration, dedication, humility, going low, crying out because it was the fact that Solomon dedicated the temple 
solely to God that made it so glorious. Whatever is dedicated to the Lord, the Lord can come and fill. And I believe we are going to see a whole new level as the prophets of God go forth with this message, with this charge. Consider your ways. Why? Because our ways affect what it is that we are currently enjoying. And now is the time for every single one of us, even you watching, to consider, is what I'm doing right now pleasing to the Lord? Is what I'm giving myself to pleasing to Him? Do I grieve the Holy Spirit in any area of my life? Because I want to do things that attract Him. Guys, I pray that this video is always blesses you. Make sure you visit the YouTube channel, Faith Like Birds. Uh, you can subscribe. You can turn on, and click the notification bell. Leave us a like and give us a comment. You can certainly do that as well on social media. I know the great majority of you watch us on Facebook and Instagram. Please also share this uh, on your pages to help get the word out and to be a blessing to the rest of the body of Christ. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will talk to you next week.